In recent years, downtown Raleigh has seen an explosion of new restaurants reflecting the gamut of trends in modern gastronomy. Some have succeeded, others have failed, but one downtown restaurant has stood the test of time for over eight years decades and continues to thrive as it always has. It's an important social gathering place, a classic American success story, and a Raleigh institution. Join us as producer Scott Marsh takes us on a journey to the Mecca. It's lunchtime at the Mecca, and today's special is the lemon herb chicken. Restaurateur Paul Dumballis expertly fills orders at the back of the house, while his mother, Floey, greets customers at her usual perch behind the cash register. Thank you. Bye -bye. They're continuing a family business begun over 80 years ago by Paul's grandfather, Nick. Nick Dumballis emigrated from his native Greece in 1913 and opened the Mecca in 1930. Back then, you could get a large T-bone for 55 cents or a grilled cheese sandwich for a dime. Prices are slightly higher these days, but the food itself has changed very little over the years. If you like your grandmother's cooking and your mother's cooking, come to the Mecca. It's home cooking and it's very, very tasty. They get a lot of their vegetables from the farmer's market, which I like. Trout is wonderful. They, they really do a good job because they cook it individually. Indeed, the Mecca serves a full menu, offering everything from omelets to burgers to barbecue but it's the daily specials that inspire a loyal clientele. Fried chicken. The fried chicken or, uh, or lasagna. Meatloaf. Fried chicken. The lemon herb chicken. Grilled cheese. I love the fried chicken. If there's one favorite, it's definitely the fried chicken. Perfectly cooked to order with a light golden crust. It just don't get no better. That recipe was introduced by Paul's father, John Dombalis, who took over daily operations from his father, Nick, in the early 1950s. John's wife, Floey, was happily raising the couple's children at home. And then one day, uh, somebody didn't show up at the Mecca, and they called me in to uh, help out. And apparently, I did a good job because they never let me leave. <laughs> Affectionately known as Mrs. D, Floey Dumballis is as much a part of the Mecca as are the pictures of famous customers lining the restaurant's walls. Mike Wallace was here, the governors, the mayors, we have lots of judges and lawyers. There's even a picture of Nick Dombalis shaking hands with Colonel Sanders. Um, Colonel Sanders came to Raleigh to get our chicken recipe. Frightened, nah. <laughs> Paul's joking, of course, but the Mecca is a great place to see all sorts of interesting people. It's the history of Raleigh in a capsule. This is a great place to come and have someone visit from out of town. I like to bring them here because they see you wave at somebody. Who's that? Well, that's the Speaker of the House. You know, who's that? Well, that's the former governor. It's a down-home friendly place. You know the people, uh, uh, the owners as well as the patrons. Uh, and it's a place where familiarity uh, reigns, I think. Uh, and the food is very good. The best two restaurants in downtown Raleigh are upstairs at the Mecca and downstairs at the Mecca. And how does the food get upstairs at the Mecca? It travels by a hand-cranked dumbwaiter that's been in use for over 60 years. And that's part of the Mecca's charm, the beautiful historic details which mirror the way downtown Raleigh used to be. We used to close at 7 at night, and there was, when you left, there was nothing down here. But Raleigh's urban renaissance changed all that, and several years ago, Paul decided to open the Mecca late night as well. That move attracted a whole new customer base. It's amazing, really. It's a good thing. A good thing indeed. Paul's son, John Dombalas, works the Saturday breakfast shift and runs the restaurant's website. For him, the Mecca's continued success is rooted deeply in its past. I think the Mecca is the epitome of the American dream. Uh, you have an immigrant who came from nothing, basically. He was a refugee. And then you look at his children, his grandchildren, uh, all the successful people that have come behind him, all because he had the courage to get on a boat and cross the Atlantic Ocean and start anew. Well, it's my life. <laughs> when I come in in the mornings and get settled down and sit down on my stool, I feel like I'm at home. Generations of the Mecca's customers have felt the same way. So, whether you're looking for a slice of house-baked cobbler or a slice of Raleigh history, you too may want to embark on a journey to the Mecca. 
The Mecca is located at 13 East Martin Street in Raleigh. The Mecca serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner and is open Monday through Wednesday from 7.30 a.m. to midnight and Thursday through Saturday from 7.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. For more information, call 919-832-5714 or visit their website at mecca-restaurant.com.